So, there you are. Client's asking for the export tonight, which means you only have one more thing you gotta do, which you kinda left to the last minute, and that's color. You're staring at the screen and you're just wondering where do I even start? And you just keep pressing buttons. The colors are off, the blacks are blown out, the grain is all over the top. What in the world is halation? Is this crop too much? Even black and white don't. You're confused by all the sliders, the waveforms, the grass. So you just keep going and going and going until eventually it's just best that you start again. But before you do that, just give me five minutes of your time. For context, my name is Harry Olsen. I'm a freelance director and post-production trainee working in the film and television industry. And before you ask, no, I'm not gonna give you a 10 hour crash course on DaVinci Resolve on how every single button works. Instead, I'm gonna give you three simple steps that anyone can do in five minutes to elevate their boring footage so any client would be happy. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here we are on our DaVinci Resolve color page. Uh, gonna go through this very quick. Uh, these are my color management settings. Just got it DaVinci Color Science and then DaVinci Wide Gamut on the timeline, Rec 709 2.4 on the output. So all we're gonna use is four very, very simple nodes. So we're just gonna label them. This is a CST. This one is brow for balance. This is another CST, and then this is the look. These four simple nodes is all you need. And the great thing about this is it's gonna set you up for really great node practice. This is just something very simple. If you wanna go into more detail, then I definitely recommend that balance can be up to 10 different nodes. You can have specific things. But if you wanna get something out quick, these are the only four you need. So the first CST, um, we're gonna go to effects and obviously put in our color space transform. So for those of you that don't know what a CST is, a color space transform, is this is how we're gonna turn our basic log footage into the correct color space. As you can see, this was shot on F-Log. This was when we shot our documentary last year. So it was shot on a Fujifilm XC3. So the input color space will be Rec 2020 and it will be Gamma F-Log, not F-Log 2. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna put our output space is to DaVinci White Gamma and DaVinci White Gamma here. Now, our image looks awful because this is basically where we're putting the color onto the timeline. But we don't want our image to look like this, obviously. So we're gonna use our third CST here our color space transform, drag that back on. So now we're just gonna do the same thing. Our input now obviously is this, so it's DaVinci Wide Gamma and DaVinci Intermediate. But we obviously want it to be delivered on a certain space. We want it delivered on Rec 709 with Gamma 2.4. This is just your basic deliverable. And wow, look, we already have a very simple image here. If you've exposed correctly and you are happy with this, you can be done. This is all you need. This is the correct deliverable. If you're trying to put something out quick and you've exposed correctly, you don't need to make any specific changes. Boom, you're done. Just from this to this immediately. But we want to change a couple of things. I want this to be more styled. I think the highlights are a bit too much. So we're going to balance that a little bit. And I want it to have a specific look. So my number one thing with color grading is figure out what you want it to look like. So for me, this documentary feels very nostalgic. It's by the seaside, it's lovely weather. So I want it to be quite bright, a bit more of a filmic look um, to go with our documentary. So now we're gonna go to bow, which is obviously our balance node. And we're just gonna do all of our balancing on here. So yeah, I just think the highlights are a little bit too much. So I'm gonna go on to my HDR color wheels. I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit. I'm also looking at my scopes down here. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna bring this down just a tiny bit so nothing's clipping. Yeah, I'm liking the look of that. The, sh the darks are a bit too dark, so I'm just gonna bring these up a teeny tiny bit. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, yeah, I'm just looking at my scopes, making sure nothing major is going under 128 and nothing over 1896. I've got a little bit, but I'm not too fussed about that. And 
yeah, I think the image is pretty much balanced the way I want it to. So again, if you're not looking for a look, you can finish it here. Export, send it to your client, perfect. But we're gonna go for a look. We want this image to look a specific way. So on a look, we're gonna go and use a plugin that I downloaded called Dehancer, which is a film emulator um, filled with hundreds of different options, dozens upon dozens of different film profiles. And I've been very fortunate that Dehancer have sent me their product to try out today. I'm in no way sponsored by them. However, they have been very kind and put in the description a 10% off voucher. Um, for any subscription that you want, whether you want the pro plan or you want the grain, they also now have a brand new iOS version. So if you want to edit photos or videos on the go and you want to get that really simple film look that you get straight out for 35 millimeter camera, Dehance is the perfect way to use this. It's a brilliant thing. So I'm going to show you how this works. Obviously our source is Rec. 709 because we've changed it here to Rec. 709. Um, I don't like the film right now. It's not the look I really want, but the great thing is we have so many options. Hmm, what are we thinking? I'm really liking Ectocrime. Um, I've been using this a lot at the moment. I love its warm styles. Um, I'm just gonna push it a little bit down just so it's bringing that exposure down as well. I'm just gonna check my waveform. And if I wanna go back and make any specific changes to balance, I can do that later on the balance node, which is why we have a different node. We don't put it all on one thing so we can make specific changes without affecting our look here. But yeah, right now my image is too grainy, so I'm gonna go down to the film grain. As you can see, it's on. It's on a 35 mil ISO to 50. I'm just gonna bring that down to 50. I'm just gonna lower that a little bit, just enough, like a five, just so it's not too much. So if I go down to zero and then to 100, you can see the crazy difference. But I just don't like too much, especially with something like a documentary. I just don't feel like it needs it. So that's fine for me. I'm also gonna change the print to the Kodak print, um, just because I think it matches the film profile really well. But now my image is super contrasty. So I'm gonna bring the tonal contrast down just a little bit the exposure down there, color density, just bring that up a tiny bit and bring my target whites a little bit there. So yeah, already look how much of the change we've made. I still wanna make a few specific changes. Um, and then I'm also gonna to go to Bloom, which kind of does the similar thing, but much more dominant. So you can see here, it's given it much more softer edges, which you might get with filters that you can put on your cameras. Um, but this is straight in editing software, so it's fantastic. I'm gonna bring it down a tiny bit. I don't think it needs that much, just enough to soften the highlights. So if I go down here, just look at the highlights. Yeah, I like that. That's a nice, soft look. I don't want any film damage. I don't want any film breath. The other scan is fine. Um, and then I'm just gonna bring the, and then I'm just gonna go here. I like the temperature just to be a little bit warmer just because we want that lovely sun to pop in. And then just bring the exposure down just a tiny bit just to give it a bit of contrast. Looking here as well, I'm really happy with that. I'm actually just gonna go back to my balance, go to the HDR, bring up the shadows just a teeny tiny bit, just like that, and boom. Five minutes, four simple nodes, and look at that. We have transformed our image. And that's it, that's all you need. Thank you very much to Dehancer for sending out their software. If you wanna use their software and save 10% off any of their plans, feel free to use my code or the link in the description. Have a lovely rest of your day and have fun color grading. <laughs>